that was the part 1 of this tutorial, and this is the part 2. If you haven't watched the part 1, it will be advisable to watch that before, link in the description, below. Without wasting much time, let's get right into it. And for your reminder, studio light, materials and camera roll preset used in this tutorial are available to purchase. First 100 people will get up to 50% discount. Link in the description as well. Let's add materials by locating Create, then New Material. Then double-click on the Material layer to open the Material Editor. Let's create another material by following the same steps, but different settings. Now that we're done, let's add a camera by locating camera at the top. This serves as our focal point. Now let's apply the materials created by dragging and dropping it to the group's layers accordingly. You can follow what I'm doing by locating the specific group, Moana, add the material and drag and drop it.
let's preview it and see how it will look after adding the materials. Now let's add sky by creating new material for the sky. Remember all these studio kits are available link in the description. Locate sky at the top, under the floor panel. Then apply the sky material to the sky by dragging and dropping. Let's hide sky from render preview by right clicking on the sky layer, locate Cinema 4D tags, and then click on Composition. Come down and uncheck Scene by Camera in the drop down menu. Now let's preview after adding the sky. Then finally, let's add our studio lights by copying and pasting into your project to achieve the realistic look. You will get access to all these kits after downloading the Cinema 4D Studio kits. I have made a tutorial on how to load them into your project. Link will pop up somewhere at the top of this tutorial. Now let's preview it after adding the studio light. That's it. Now let's do our settings for final rendering and export by clicking on the render settings at the top. done with the render settings, let's preview for the last time. Now everything is on point, let's render as PNG file by clicking on the render to picture view. Wait till it's done rendering.
This may take some time, depending on the machine you're using. Now it's done. Let's check the outcome. Love, sweet joy. Looks great and super realistic. But I want you to know that I did some color and light adjustments in Camaro to achieve this result. Camaro preset is included in the Cinema 4D Studio kit. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoy. See you all on next tutorial.